Hey, what's up? I just wanted to make a short video of three unusual drum miking techniques that I picked up whenever I worked over a Cherokee. As most of you know, I'm working on a song dedicated in the memory of Keith Flint from The Prodigy. If you haven't seen those four videos, you can see them here. I'll link to it. So let's get right to it. Let's, uh, let's go see these techniques that I use. This one right here, uh, I learned whenever I worked over a Cherokee. <laughs> And what they would do is they would build a little tent around the kick drum and throw a packing blanket, which you could get at Home Depot or, or Lowe's for probably about, you know, 10, 15 bucks, something like that. Anyhow, if you lift this up, you can see there's the mic out in front rather than being inside of the kick drum. And that picks up the resonance of the outer head. And I have a six, I think it's a Sennheiser 602 in there right now. And uh, that's picked up really nicely. And what this does, it, the tent, it doubles as a isolation so that it doesn't pick up the rest of the drums. But it also kind of gives it a, a like a tunnel sound, like a, a, a nice boomy chamber where the where the sound kind of stays in there i guess but it worked at cherokee and it's helping me get an awesome sound here so that's the the first one the second one is as you've probably seen this before but i just thought that a lot of drummers didn't have the felts and the uh the top wing nuts on just because it's easy to take off your symbol if you're doing a gig afterwards, but I experimented and I found out that it actually brightens up the symbols. Uh, hello, of course. Um, so that's tip number two. And for the last tip, if you happen to be doing vocals in, uh, in the same room where you have a drum set up, um, as you can hear, you have reverberation happening. So if you just get a, uh, a fitted sheet, toss it across the top here, this will cut down your sympathetic vibrations. It won't, it won't eliminate them all, but it at least it'll, it'll calm them down quite a bit. So that's my three drum tips. Here we go, sit in the recording studio. So my entire studio looks like a battleground right now because I've been working so hard on this track because I want it to be a really, really amazing, meaningful song. And I've pretty much locked myself away in here. I've been eating my dinner in here and I've been working probably until maybe four, five o'clock in the morning. In my next video, hopefully I will have the finished version for you. So that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to give you an update on where I am in the song and also pass on those three amazing tips that I learned at Cherokee decades ago that are still highly effective now. Yeah, so that's about it. I haven't uploaded for a couple weeks because I've been working on a paying gig and that's all done. And now I'm back at this 100% and I'm really, really excited to show you guys the finished product because it's really turning out super cool. All right, peace. Don't forget to like, share, share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.